In this video, we're going to show you how to fix a common screw or item in your tire. This is a very common type of puncture. You're not going to want to do slime or any of those kits. You're going to want to definitely follow this procedure as far as plugging up your tire. It's very easy to do. Follow the step-by-step -step guide. You will need about $10 worth of parts. Uh, a lot of the stuff you should have lying around already. But if you follow this guide, we'll be able to plug up your tire, get more mileage out of your tire, and do it on the cheap. All right, we're about to fix a flat. First thing we did was we put the car in neutral and we rotated the car around with a flashlight to find out if there's a leak. You could do soapy water if you want to find it, but this one has a big screw in it. You could just see it visually. So I know that this tire needs to be patched up. Now you can usually patch a tire. The only way you can't patch a tire is if it's in the side wall here. You don't want to patch a tire. If it's anywhere in the middle of section of the tire, it's an easy patch job. Save yourself a ton of money and just patch it yourself. Now, you do need a significant amount of muscle and strength for this, and I'm not joking, I'm serious. If any of you have ever tried to do a tire, it is not necessarily easy. This is about a medium uh, difficulty job, as well as jacking up the car, loosening the tire, things like that all take time. First thing to do is just loosen the tires. You want to loosen the tires now because um, it's harder to loosen them once it's in the air because the tires could move depending if you have an automatic or not. So I'm just going to... You don't want to take it off now because there's a lot of weight on these tires still, but you just want to loosen these nuts. You also don't want to strip these lug nut nuts either. There's about five. Now they're loose. Find out the appropriate jack position for your car. It's usually right behind your tire here. Or there's usually one near your engine bay as well. You can go through the front of the car. And you just need to jack it up high enough that the tire is off the ground. Now it's best practice to put this on a jack stand, but I'm just doing a really quick job here. And now we're going to take these off completely. I kind of spin it, gets it off. The other thing we're going to do once this is off is you want to go ahead and take off the, um, we want to remove the valve stem. So removing the valve stem is going to go ahead and um, take out all the air out of the tire. All right. So we got all the lug nuts off, our tires out of air. Uh, looks like we're almost ready to go. So I know that the, the spot here was right there. And uh, this particular vehicle, you could see either this particular vehicle has bad alignment or that this tire's been flat for a little while now. And because of that, the tire loses air. And when the tire loses air, it compresses down and you're going to get a lot more wear closer to the sides of the tire, like you see here. So this tire, you're not going to get, this particular tire we're looking at here, isn't going to get all of its life out of it from the center because these side parts are going to wear out a lot quicker before the center and you're not going to maximize the mileage on this particular tire. So that's why it's important to find a leak and fix it and also make sure your tires are properly pumped at all times. I check my tires once a month. You know, most people never check their tires. So just check your tire pressure. Uh, it's a fairly easy thing to do. And this is also a good time to just check the whole tire. There might be, you might have multiple uh, fractures here. Or I can unscrew it this way. So just pick it up and then go counterclockwise. All right, and there you go. So that was the screw that was inside of there. And it leaves this little hole. This is the perfect patch job to do. Like I said, if you have to patch something along these sidewalls, not a good idea. But patching something like this, very easy to do. All right, now here's our kit. I'll put a link in the description below. This is a cool little kit because it comes with everything and it's cheap. Uh, you can see it came with like, what is it, five times four, 20 different patches. Plus you get a tire repair toolkit instructions and some extra rubber for like bicycle tires and things like that. So it's a, it's a little cheap kit, but it'll work. Eventually this is what's gonna patch the hole is one of these. If it's just like a really gooey uh, thing. But um, the first tool you're gonna use is this one here. And this one is just gonna go ahead and uh, make this hole as clean as possible. And you kind of twist, twist in here. And you're actually making the hole bigger as well as cleaning out the hole because you would think that you want the smallest hole possible, but actually you need this to be fairly big 
because you need to get that patch in there and that patch is not small so what I do is I kind of twist it around go up and down and then also twist with your hand like this and you're just getting this hole nice and clean so when you throw that patch in there it does a good job sealing the whole tire I would say the holes not big enough until this tool could go straight in and straight out really easily and that's where I said it needs some muscle like this is not easy to get this hole opened up all right I think I got it pretty good there I'm gonna go one more just for good luck okay so now our hole is cleaned up the next couple tools we're going to be using are these here you have the rubber cement which comes with the kit you have this tool which actually puts the um, the patch in there and then you have the patch itself so it's, just, it's a sticky patch pull up the plastic it's kind of weird it's kind of like a really gummy bear really gummy and then the first thing to do is you got to thread it through this little needle here you can see it's got a little bit of a gap you can see I've used it quite a bit of times I've patched four tires with this kit already this will be number five also you might want to wear gloves if you don't want to get your hands dirty but I've always been a fan of uh, being able to feel everything as I go but uh, you get really dirty I do recommend like the lava soap to clean your hands it does a way better job than ordinary soap as well as using like a little, um, I'll put a link, there's like these little, um, they're really cheap, but they're little um, brushes. And then they're just, you just, I leave them in my shower. And the main thing is you get that dirt underneath your fingernails, which you cannot clean with just soap. You need to have these little scrubbers to do that. So, you can see here, it's not easy to get this through. And you want to go halfway. All right. Okay, so now you're halfway. And now you need to put glue on it because we're going to shove this in there. So basically you just shove it in and you pull it out. It's quite interesting the way it works. But uh, you do want some glue on there, so smear some glue on both sides. Not too much, but you know, I don't think you can go wrong with the glue. As you push it in, it's going to smear the glue around even more. So don't necessarily worry about distributing it too much. It's kind of like thread locker, like as you tighten it down, it moves the thread locker around on the screw. So similar, it'll move this around on the patch. All right, so now we're left with the, um, the plug ready to go in and our spot on the tire here. So now I'm just going to go straight in. And this is where it gets hard. You need to use a little bit more extra leverage. Almost got it in. <clears throat> We're getting in there. There we go. It's going in now. Okay, I get it in most of the way. You don't want to put it all in. And then this is why that thing had a little tip in there. If you pull straight up, now that it's such a tight fit, you should be able to get out of there. Okay, so there you go, perfect. So as you saw, now it's got some of the patch going in the inside of the, and some going out. But at this stage, we're just gonna cut off the excess with an X-Acto knife. See, tire companies don't want you to know how to do this because they'd rather sell you a new set of tires. But if you're on a budget, you can do this incredibly cheap. Okay, so that was fine. It's okay if you have a little excess. That'll just roll off as you um, as you drive. So to me, that's a successful patch right there. It's really good. Don't like I said. Don't worry about any of the excess. That'll all come off when you drive. Now you do want this to dry before you pump up the tire. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire back on while this is drying. I'm fairly confident that I did it correctly because I've done it so many times. But you might wanna just at this stage let it dry before you pump it up and just double check it for air before you go any further. So you do need to put the valve stem back in the tire. So I just slide it in there. I have a little valve stem screw. These come, the kit came with one. You know, you see them all the time. Just you stick it on there and you just go clockwise to tighten. And you don't want to tighten it too hard once you get it there, just like a little, maybe not even a quarter turn, and that's in there now. 
Before I pump in air though, I want that to dry fully. But what I can do while I'm waiting is I can put the tire back on the car, at least have that part done. All right, and now we just gotta pump up this tire. Make sure you inflate your tire first. Go ahead and check your tire pressures. This one's at uh, 32 and a half. I'm gonna get it down to 32, so I'm gonna let it roll out. Another thing to do is this tire is now cold. A hot tire is gonna show a higher air pressure than a cold tire. So do remember that as far as the actual reading. You wanna, you wanna do things when they're cold as far as the manual and when they ask. If it's hot out, you're gonna get, you know, plus or minus, or I'm sorry, plus probably two to up to like six or seven pounds potentially. Once your tire's inflated, take off your jack, remove the jack, you can now lower the car, your lug nuts are on. You're gonna wanna do a final pass on all your lug nuts. Go in a star pattern. So you know, like start here, then go there, then there, then there, then there, and just make sure they're all tight. It's easier to tighten them when the tire's on the ground. So now your, your lug nuts are tight, your tire's at the right pressure, you've removed the jack stand so there's nothing in the way, you're not gonna run anything over, and your tire is now repaired. There's nothing else you have to do. You know, as long as that, that patch dried and it's not leaking anymore, you're completely finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of videos just like this one. And we'll see you guys on the next one.